At a bare minimum, a tanning setup calls for a large towel for the client to stand on and the spraying session should be done in a room meeting ventilation requirements. The client should have previously exfoliated and applied any barrier blending cream to their palms and other rough skin areas. Preparation as well as aftercare maintenance are often overlooked but are important steps to the overall tanning results. The direction of a fan pattern is indicated and guided by the prongs on the air cap at the tip of the spray gun. Horizontal alignment sprays a vertical spray pattern while a vertical alignment sprays a horizontal spray pattern. The basic rule of thumb is to point the prongs in the direction you are moving the spray gun. Have the client stand with arms raised parallel to the floor. Using horizontal strokes, spray the abdomen starting from the swimsuit bottom and ending at the bottom of the swimsuit top. Slightly overlap these strokes. Spray on a second coat using vertical strokes completing a cross hatch pattern to better prevent missed spots. If a top is present, fill in the cleavage area with a U-shaped spray stroke. Have the client raise their arm to allow access to their side. Using one centered spray stroke should be sufficient to cover the side. Note that it is also possible to spray the underside of the arm while the client is in this position, although we don't show it here. Have the client turn around and repeat this step for the other side. Have the client turn around and stand with arms raised parallel to the floor. Using slightly overlapping horizontal strokes, spray the back starting from the swimsuit bottom up to the tops of the shoulders. If a ponytail holder or hair cover is not being used, have the client hold their hair up off of their neck. Use a short stroke from each side to cover the back of the neck. To prevent missed spots, spray a second coat using vertical strokes until the entire back is covered. If the client has dangling strings on their swimsuit, Lift the strings and spray lightly over the pale negatives left behind from spraying the torso. Have the client raise their arms diagonally downward with their fingers in a claw-like position to stretch out the creases of the knuckles. In short, horizontal, overlapping strokes, spray from the bottom of the shoulders down to the wrist. Repeat for the other arm. Have the client turn their palms towards the ceiling, still keeping the diagonal angle towards the floor. Spray short, horizontal, overlapping strokes down the underside of the arm, tapering off at the wrist. Be careful not to spray the palm. Repeat for the other arm. Have the client turn around and bend their elbows with the hands facing forward to expose and flex the skin of the elbow. Use two or three short strokes to cover the arm from the shoulder down to the elbow. Have the client extend their arm and spray down from the elbow to the wrist. Again, repeat for the other arm. Keep the client facing backwards and have them stand with legs shoulder width apart. Spray vertically down the length of the leg using light strokes until covered. The client may need to lean forward to stretch out any creases where the legs meet the butt. Have the client turn to give access to the side of the leg. Use vertical strokes down the length of the leg until covered. Have the client step forward, giving access to the inner part of the leg and spray using vertical strokes. Spray vertically down the front of the leg until covered. Take care to not spray directly over the kneecap as this will create a creasing effect once the solution has developed. Repeat these steps for the other leg. For the kneecap, we suggest having the client put their foot up on a box or other prop to stretch out the lines of the knee while spraying. Spray the knee only with a light pass to prevent creasing. Repeat for the other knee. Since the feet may unavoidably receive some settling overspray, it is recommended to spray them towards the end of the procedure using light spray strokes. The heel and sole of the foot tend to be rough and overabsorb solutions, so it is best not to spray them directly. Since spraying the face involves the client holding their breath, it is suggested to predetermine a signal to use if the client becomes uneasy or uncomfortable during these steps. Brush any hair off the face as best as possible. Have the client hold their breath and close their eyes to minimize solution intake. 
spray across the face with an upward angling horizontal stroke beginning at the chin and ending at the front of the ear. Repeat for the opposite side of the face. Have the client breathe normally for a few seconds then ask them again to hold their breath. Finish with an arching horizontal stroke across the forehead, barely feathering the stroke into the hairline. During the entire time of the tanning session, always remember to keep the comfort of the client your highest priority. After completing application, remind the client of the importance of moisturization and maintenance to the life of the tan.